everybody, it's Chris, and I'm back to do another um, album with you today, part of the Vivid Vinyl series. Today we're going to call this one, I think, the Moody Blues. Um, this is kind of a color combination that I was thinking of that I thought would be really pretty in the Shelley art style. So let me give you a rundown of the colors that we're using today. I have a Golden High Flow Ultramarine Blue. I have TLP Meteorite, and remember TLP is this little piggy. Um, it's these little pigments that um, I really love to use. They are really great for um, this type of painting and they are very rich in color. So this one's kind of a gray, but it has, I think it kind of has like a little bit of a goldish tan sheen to it. It's kind of an odd color, but it's really pretty. Um, I'm also using Galaxy, which is a TLP. I have some Soho Mineral Blue paint mixed up. I have some Sterling TLP. Sapphire TLP and Taffy TLP. Now the Taffy TLP is this really bright, vivid blue, and I'm hoping that I get a really cool lightning effect across the top of it with my cell activator. So I'm hoping that that's what I can achieve with this blue. This is gonna be the one that's on the top. And then somewhere in there, I'm going to put in a little bit of golden interference blue as well. The base that we're gonna to use today is the Sherwin-Williams um, Acres Away. And I thought rather than use a white base that could possibly pop through, I really want this to be like a really beautiful blue piece of art when it's finished. So I thought, well, let's ensure that by using the blue base and then that way I don't have to worry about the white showing through. So let me just get this ready. I can see that when I took the lid off, I had a little and a paint booger across the side of it. So I wanna make sure I've got that out. All right, so let's start with the anchors away. Again, I um, have prepped my record with some bullseye one, two, three in the center over the label so that the ink does not bleed through. This time I did tape my record down to my um, turntable with a little bit of masking tape just because I don't want it to fly off. And I was really afraid with that other one that I did the other day that it was gonna fly off. So I did put a little bit of tape down just to kind of keep it in place. Um, the only other thing that I do to the album is I do put on, um, I, or I do wipe it off with, a, um, I wipe it off with an alcohol wipe. So that is the Ultramarine. Next, we're gonna go on with the Meteorite. And I am using a white cell activator today. And then next is the Galaxy. Galaxy is this really pretty blue, really deep, I guess, blue gray, but it does have a blue undertone to it. And then I think we're gonna put some of this interference blue on there next. My only thing is, is I want to make sure that this is absolutely covered with paint because I don't want that white showing through anywhere. Because what you see with the white is exactly what shows on top of the paint. So I wanna be sure I have that colored so that I don't have those white streaks in there. And then next we're gonna do the Soho Mineral Blue. So I think I'm just gonna kinda go over and just make sure that I have this covered up on the edges. This is a really beautiful blue too that I, I love this color. I use it a lot actually. This is a um, Soho Artist Loft, or I'm sorry, not Soho Artist Loft. It's a Soho Urban Artist and it's from Jerry's Artorama. All right, and then next we're gonna use some of the Sterling. So this is where that bright silver comes in. So I thought I would kind of lighten it up a little bit as we go. Um, next is the sapphire, which we're gonna go back to a really deep, rich blue. This is also a, uh, this little piggy, and it's a beautiful color too. All right, and then last but not least is the taffy. And hopefully this is where we'll get that really cool lightning effect. I'm trying to decide how far out do I want this guy? I think I kind of want it to 
be on the surface as much as I can because if I do get that lightning effect, I think it's gonna be important for this blue to be across the surface. And I can tell my, my cake stand is not quite level because we're kind of moving around a bit. All right, that should do it. Now, you can see that the Anchors Away is not really like the best color as a base, but at the end of the day, I'm hoping that really that's not going to be showing anyway. <clears throat> the whole thought is for that just to provide a nice deep base for these other colors to show off on. All right, so I've got my white. So I have my white cell activator here. Let me get that ready to go. This is left over from two days ago. No, three days ago. So I added just a little bit of extra Floetrol and a little bit of extra Amsterdam titanium white to it. And let me pop these bubbles super quick. Love the colors. I'm trying to decide if I want, if I need to um, let this kind of flow the other way here. All right, so we're going to put a good bit of cell activator in the center here. And then let me blow this out. Right, so I'm just gonna let that kind of sit for a second. Um, I did try to blow out some of these edges and I'll, I might use my straw to kind of blow those out a little bit more. Or I may just go ahead and use the end of a paintbrush and kind of create some swirls and things there where I wasn't able to blow out quite as far. I've got a little bit of white here in the center that I kind of blew into. I think I'm gonna blow right here and see if I can get that to disperse out a little bit further. And I know that it's cell activator because there isn't any white in this pour. So I'm just trying to get that to thin out a little bit. So sometimes a straw works a little bit better. You can see that got me down to the base paint to kind of create those cells. I do love how that blue is looking on the top though. I'm kind of tempted to put a little bit of cell activator there and see if I can blow out that way. So I think I will do that, which it's always great if you can get a, a great bloom the first time, but I really want that kind of lightning effect. So let me see if I can touch that up a bit. And then I do want to kind of go around the edges. Now the hope is that these edges will actually spin off, but just in case, that way I don't have just a bunch of paint that's not very pretty. All right, let's give it a spin and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Now we'll go back the other way. Now, do you see what I mean with these swirls here and how, what a difference that makes to do that? Because this wouldn't have been very pretty, I don't think, if we wouldn't have done that. some really big beautiful stretched out cells so let's see if we can stretch it out a little bit further there's definitely plenty of paint still coming off what do you 
think. I think that looks pretty awesome. I will say that I do have some areas where I feel like it's kind of lightning, has that lightning effect that I wanted. We'll see if I can get it to move at all, but I don't think I will. It's so interesting because you think that it's like absolutely even and everything is perfectly centered and then you're all finished and it's like, hmm, nope, that wasn't quite centered, was it? Give it one more go here. I think that turned out pretty darn cool. All right, let me see if I can pick this up and give you a little bit closer view without totally going out of focus. Um, do you see in the middle there where it kind of has like that lightning effect? Let me see if I can catch the sunlight coming in the window. Do you see the metallics? There they are. Aren't they beautiful? I'm anxious to see how this one's going to dry. I will say the other one that I did, the yellow, everything just stayed really perfect on it. All right guys, so that is the Moody Blue of the Vivid Vinyl series. Um, I think this is gonna be a really fun series. I hope you guys find it as interesting as I do. If you have any color suggestions that you'd like to see, please leave me a comment because I would love to do something that you guys want to see. And if you have any questions about this art piece, please let me know. I would love to answer those questions as well. And I will catch you next time on the flip side. Bye-bye.